I'm going to be showing you today the Wise watch. This is a watch manufactured by Wise Key, which includes a digital identity inside the watch. The watch transfer my identity via NFC either to devices, could be access control, like we're going to show you how to open a door of the headquarters of Wise Key, or to your mobile phone or to your desktop. So the first thing is I'm going to be going inside my office, Wiseki headquarters, and I'm going to use a reader that is already locked into my door that has two things, that has two factors of authentication. One is biometric with my fingerprint, and second, my identity, which is going to be sent from the watch. So I first I need to do like I'm doing here, fingerprint recognition, and now I am opening the door so I can access my offices. So now I will continue inside Wise Key, accessing different places, and I'm going to go to the conference room with again my watch. This is the only neat thing I need to have is my identity, my watch, and the permission to access. So I will be the same way I did the entrance, open different doors. This information can be revoked. If for any reason uh, one person loses the identity, he cannot open the doors anymore. So if a person uh, is, is not working anymore in Wise Key, uh, his watch will be immediately revoked and the permissions of access control, either physical or digital, will be immediately revocated. So we're going to go in another uh, conference facility and now we're going to show you how with the same watch and the same identity we can now activate a mobile phone and decrypt the data that I have in my cloud. Again, I have to go through different access. You can follow me. So now the watch is going to be used for something different, which is deactivate the mobile phone data, which is otherwise encrypted in your mobile phone. This data is captured in your mobile phone and in a cloud, in a Swiss cloud. Ayumna is going to, with their, her identity, which is located on the watch, activate the app that will decrypt the data. Here is my Waze ID app. To get access to my data, encrypted data, I have to put my watch down the app and open my app. Here is finally my credential card, my uh, flight, my passwords and my confidential notes. All this information are in my Wise ID app and and no one has access to this without my watch and my phone. So now we are going to, after the demo on the mobile phone, we're going to exit again through the door with the watch and we're going to go to activate a desktop. So I'm going to access through the watch my main computer, the one I work every day. And I want to certify as well that this is a real watch, which is a secondary use of this technology, not only to decrypt your data or access, but also authenticate that you are actually having a real watch. So we're going to exit again through the same process, doors open and we go to the next room. So now we're going to use the same watch. Uh, it's going to be used to activate the certificate that also certify the watch itself. So I want to verify that this is a real watch, it's not a fake watch. And that watch is going to be um, activating a NFC reader and through the NFC reader the certificate which is in the watch is going to validate the watch. This technology can also be used to activate your computer so your computer can be locked and your email is locked and if you don't have the watch you won't be able to access. So I'm going to give my watch now and, and we're going to make a demo how that works. Here's my watch. So we have the watch replaced on the NFC reader and through a simple web interface application we can click read the card I mean read the NFC see the details of what's on the watch and we can go ahead and activate this product so now we are inside Wise Key uh, in Wise Key all the doors have this type of access control locks which is uh, produced by another Swiss company by the way and my watch, which has my identity, has authority to access different locks in different places in Wiseki. 
depending who you are in the identity means what type of certificate attribute you have. If you have a technology attribute, you can access the data centers. If you are the CEO, you can access your office. If you are a developer, you can access the lab. Each of us have a different identity on our watches and through those watches or smart car, because you can also use a smart car for that, will allow you to access or to enter into a secure environment. Obviously, everybody is free to access Wise key through the same way I did it before, and just now I am exiting the company. So now we are at the uh, Wise key data center, and uh, the same thing I'm gonna try with my watch that has my identity to access a ultra secure facility on where Wise key has cryptographic keys. So this is a very large data center that we have. And the same thing, we have the same type of uh, readers, uh, access control readers that we had in the uh, wise key offices. But here I cannot enter alone, I need two persons. So we're going to be combining my identity with Kevin Biometrics in order to access an ultra high uh, secure facility. So I'm going to do the same thing, the watch has my identity through NFC. This is an NFC reader and it's going to request the biometrics from Kevin. So I go like this. Okay. The system is now flashing. Requires the biometrics. Kevin is going to produce those biometrics and now we can access the wise key data center. So now that we're in the main data center, we've completed um, the two person access procedure. Carlos presented his watch and I presented my biometrics. ID. Now to get into tier 2 access, I can enter alone with my ID. Let's try and figure it out. Google this watch. There we go. 